I'm a beautiful woman, but nobody is coming to marry me. I'm a wonderful woman. I, I, I've done all I know to do, and yet I'm not able to have a child. I, I graduated, and 10 years, 12 years, nobody has come to give me a job. Be patient. There is an evidence that is being built. Don't corrupt the power of the testimony that is waiting for you through impatience. Hear me. Behind every glory, there is a story. The story is what makes the glory desirable. If the Bible just said Jesus came, he walked, he died, he resurrected. Even me, I will not give my life to him. I won't give my life to that kind of story. But then when I see his passion, he went through this for me, there must be something special about me that's how those you are called to serve will thank you when they hear what you had to go through to be a savior they say you had to go through this to be a prophet is this the price of being an apostle is this the price of being the kingdom millionaire now they will not just clap for you because you're a billionaire they will clap for you because you're a testament of endurance you went through this so that my children will eat you went through this so that nations will be built I once prayed for a politician who was so frustrated and he told me he said apostle every time i want to stop i have spent money i campaign i do my best but then things don't seem to work out sometimes even when i know that you know everything turned in my favor i'm tired of all this i've been offered all kinds of options but i've made up my mind to stand for christ and i told him i said do you think God is wasting your time. Hmm. Joseph, what would your story be if you were not in the prison? Would we really believe that God delivers? The prison is where both good and bad people meet. <laughs> be careful who you point in the prison because the prison is the meeting place for both good and bad people. Joseph is in the prison. The wine pressers are in the prison. Jesus is on the cross. The thieves are on the cross. There is a place where both good and bad meet. That's why when you don't understand what is happening with the lives of people, keep quiet and pray. Because they may be in the prison there to help those who are in the prison. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Why are bad things happening to this person? His brother just died. His sister just died. He's broke. He's a failure. Shame on him. You are an embarrassment to redemption. Children in the faith can talk that. But those who have truly passed through the school of the spirit understand. They can just pray and say, look, relative to your service, the results you are getting is not matching. God is doing something. Just be patient. There are times that you see the actor in a movie beating you even think he's dead. Just when you are about to sympathize with him, you see his hands moving and he gives you a ray of hope. But in the end of it, you will see victory. Believers, some of you may not like what I'm teaching you, but the making of a witness is not on the dining table with tea and bread. The furnace of affliction is how witnesses are made. I repeat, the furnace of affliction. There are prayers you can never pray away. You only pray for grace to pass through. It is a baptism you must drink of and it is a cup that you must drink of and be baptized with that baptism. Apostle, I want power. There is only a limit impartation can do. You must dig your own well. There are times when people are sleeping, you are awake and God is saying, the anointing I'm giving you is not for a local assembly. I'm sending you to the nations. You study your Bible, you finish it, God says, start again. And you say, God, you are not fair. I've finished my Bible five times. I've not preached one sermon. That preaching that is itching you, you will preach and be tired. And thank God for the residue of what you have now. He says, eat for the journey is far. There was a time in my life, I would not spend up to two weeks. Except during election. I didn't spend up to two weeks at home. Because of demand, traveling, traveling. Don't rush seasons in your life. You will miss the season you are trying to rush out of right now. Don't rush. Man of God, stop carrying complimentary cards around. Invite me. God called me. 
the fact that you have to beg people to believe you is a sign that your evidence is little or zero the key to publicity